Have you ever wanted to go on a paleontology investigation and find some fossils for yourself? Maybe you would end up finding a discovery that no one else has. Well, that's what self-taught paleontologist Mary Anning did in the 19th century. But who was Mary Anning, and what discoveries did she make to change the world of paleontology forever? Let's find out. Mary Anning was born in 1799 and lived in Lyme Regis, a town on the southern shores of Great Britain. Growing up, Mary enjoyed hunting for fossils on the beach and large cliffs overlooking the ocean, which was not easy. Mary came from a poor family and used her skill at fossil hunting to help make money. She sold small fossilized items like ammonites and other interesting specimens she could find. When she was just 12 years old though, her discoveries from small seashells and fossilized trinkets changed. In 1811, while fossil hunting for her business, Mary uncovered a complete fossil of a 17-foot marine reptile known today as an ichthyosaur. Her discovery was brand new to the world of science and the first ichthyosaur specimen to be known in the science community of London. No one had really ever seen anything like it, but Mary's discovery brought up many new questions for the fossil and science world, like the possibility of extinct animals, as this idea was brand new for many at the time. The discovery of Mary's ichthyosaur paved the way for other fossil hunters to question and seek out new and undiscovered fossilized specimens. And her discoveries didn't stop there. What may have caught the eyes of many other scientists was her discovery of the first plesiosaur. Mary was able to sell these large finds, like the ichthyosaur and plesiosaur, for a good profit to help her family. For some, she made around 100 to 200 pounds, which is like selling a fossil for $20,000 today. Many of her finds ended up in museums and personal collections of those who bought them. And for many of them, proper credit was not given to Mary Anning for their discovery. Although she possessed the skills, the motivation, and proved she was an amazing paleontologist, her contributions were discredited during her time because of her and her family's social status and her gender. The idea of attributing the historical finds to a 12-year-old girl were preposterous to the collectors and scientists who eventually obtained Mary's fossils, despite the truth that Mary was just as good and maybe even better than some fossil hunters out there. But here on Fossil Friday, we will not forget the groundbreaking discoveries and amazing contributions that Mary Anning provided for the fossil world and science. Thanks for tuning in to Fossil Friday, and we'll see you next time.